Hey, Kevin, Matteo from Jimmy Crush here. So as I promise, I'm just shooting this uh, quick video. So let me give you a couple of ideas on what you should look at into the, the wizard um, audit report. Okay. So first of all, thank you very much for being, uh, for joining us, for being a user of GMB Crush. Thank you very much, man. So let's start from the top. The current overall score is uh, 74. So it seems that you need to do some work on the categories, the site link analysis, and the reviews, especially. So let's have a look together. Um, okay, so here below the categories included to your listing. Okay, so basically the listing Hyperoofing has been like um, optimized just for a main category, and the company is doesn't is not including any any additional category. So what you need to do, you need to check this additional categories, and if they make sense, you just keep it. If it doesn't make sense, if they don't make sense, you just click, and you basically delete them. Okay, once you delete them. You have to open the about us section here, next next to the category section, next to the three pack uh, category of overview. You will find here at the bottom an about us section. You just click on it, and you will see um, our suggestion, our final suggestions in terms of a primary category and all the additional category based also on the additional categories that you remove. So if you remove any of these, the formula will be adjusting automatically. Okay. What I what I want to tell you, what I want to explain to you, sometimes you know you, you need to you need to audit what Google is rewarding already. Okay. So Google is rewarding Patrick Roofing and it's rewarding this listing as the number one listing under just one main category, which is roofing contractor. Okay, so what you need to do here, you need to find a unique angle of approach because Google has already two eligible results on top, and both of both results are falling down under the roofing contractor main category. And as you see, the number, the, the third one, it's not just roofing contractor, but basically the third result is offering to Google a unique combination, a unique angle of approach between the main category and the additional categories. So it's very, very important for you that you find a unique angle approach so that your listing will be seen by Google as an additional um, results that Google will considering uh, based on the cluster that you choose as like all the keywords that you choose, all the main categories that you choose, all the content that you choose. So you just need to show Google that you are offering a different angle of approach, okay? A different type of results based on the main category, additional categories, any other field of the Google uh, business listing, the content on your website, location pages and then you will gain that boost that you are seeking for okay so this is the part regardless the main category and the additional categories and then let's scroll down 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 so uh, it seems that the competition is already tough within your own zip code so there are already like four different listings that are competing under the same zip code. Thirty-two, thirty-two, nine, three, five. Okay, so it's like you you already got like a medium um, level of competition within this zip code. Okay, so you need what I suggest you by this is start looking at the competition locally. Okay, locally, maybe more at closest geo radio geo radius next to your main location because if you you start to get already four to five 
difficulty score within the the same zip code as the business listing i also recommend you to check out more at a micro level what the competitors are doing um, close to your location okay and then okay you upload all your listing as 326 pictures but you need to check um, the number one listing, the number two listing, and the number three position. And you need to see what's the ratio between the uh, the pictures that the business um, owner have uploaded into the listing versus the ratio of the pictures that are coming from third party users like local guides or any type of user that uh, upload like several pictures into it. So you need to, to find the ratio, even because you add a lot of pictures, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you can be competitive in terms of uh, total photos just because of that. You need to audit the number one, two and three and see what's the ratio between the amount of pictures that are being uploaded by the owner of the listing versus Third party, third party users, okay, like so local guides, customers. Uh, okay, so you need to manually audit this. You are, uh, you know, in the last 90 days, it seems that your average posting is like every 45 days. Uh, so 23 September. Okay, so I really recommend you, like, number one posting more often. Number two, you are not using enough content and you should uh, use at least 120 to 225 words because if you just uh, post a little bit of content into the business post, the post will likely not be indexing. And if the posts are not index indexing, sorry, you will not get the SEO juice that you want. So you need to use much more content and you need to structure the, the content like a title in this ad title you just fit your main keyword then you add content and then this is just an example okay then you link back to the website you link back to the uh, share url of the business listing you link back to a review and you link back to the business site because every post that you publish will be also collected into the business site. So we just pass, you know, con we just uh, we just gain an additional contextual link back to the business site as well. Okay, so you know, if you post like fifty words, hundred words, it doesn't make any sense, and you just need to avoid of using the same pictures all the times. If you use just a little bit of content, the the posts are not indexing. And you're just using the learn more. Let me see. And you need also to link back to the location pages and to the main uh, to the main domain name. So I even see that you are not even like linking to to, to back to the website for in some post. And you are not even linking back to, to a previous post. So what I recommend you here. You can also alternate linking back to your website. You see both linking back to the share URL and linking back to a previous post. So this post is linking back to this post, and this post linking back to this post. So we create a daisy chain. Okay. So once you create a daisy chain, is basically you are creating a silo within the business post okay, so you are not doing this and you are missing out a lot of uh, um, SEO juice by not doing this okay that's it um, reviews you have got a lot of uh, reviews but you are missing a lot of keywords into the reviews okay so basically you see all the keywords here like uh, in uh, all the keywords that are missing in your listing are marked in orange. So you need to gain more reviews with these keywords. So 
what does it mean professional and 36 for example it means that the word professional appears 36 times in 36 reviews of Patrick Rufi. Questions appeared like seven times into Patrick Rufi reviews and so on. So what I suggest you, you need to reach out to the clients and say, hey guys, I know you have you don't have enough time to create and write a review for us. So we just make a couple of examples for you here below. And in the example, Bob, you start to fitting in all the keywords that you are missing out. You can say, hey, please feel free to use any of this example that we just create for you. Let me know which example fits the, the ex your experience with us, blah, blah, blah. And you keep monitoring, you know, you keep monitoring how many, how many reviews you have got with the specific word so that you can keep scaling up and you can keep outreaching customer when you try to fit in the, in the examples that you provide them with, with all the keywords that you are missing out here in, in Orange. Okay, you can also export in what you see as we every section. Okay, very important. Um, here you, I, what I recommend you is like, you know, the, the, the description is not impacting directly ranking but it's impacting uh, indirectly to the ranking because it's based on the, the content into the description you will likely get more or less clicks and every time you get a clicks it's an engagement signal in front of Google eyes so I really recommend you to also strongly optimize the GMB description and you can also including into the GMB description like more details about your know, like hyper local details on which uh, uh, street are you located, from which uh, area, how they can reach you out, from uh, what's the driving direction starting from, uh, and you mentioned um, some main road close to the business listing and blah, blah, blah. If you add like more hyper local details, you will more likely get hits from users that are very close to your location. And once you will start to get like more clicks, you will get like higher CTR matrix and the listing will also start gaining more position. Okay, it's very important. Don't just place this, but try to add more keywords, explain where are you located, how they can reach you out, mentioning also like any main road close to the location, and you know, try also to close here the sentence with the call to action, like call us today or click here to okay. Okay, here the website has a great score. What I recommend you is like you need to work a little bit on the speed. Because here we are we are measuring the on page speed in uh, milliseconds okay so jar roofing seems the fastest one you are the second one patrick is the third uh, third one and ralph uh, compared the roofing is the lower is the slowest one okay so i recommend you to improve in the speed here of the website number of indexed pages are good but i will also check if you are interlinking the, the pages properly, if you are building location pages in a proper way, okay, it's very, very important. Your backlink profile also seems to be good. So no problem on that. And that's it, okay? I already gave you a lot of uh, good advices. And if you have any question, please let me know. Sorry for my voice, I got COVID the last week. So I'm still like a little bit sick, okay, man? Thank you so much. Let's talk soon.